Today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about your personal statement. This is something that you will have to do for nearly all medical school applications, I believe. It's a one page, I'm not quite sure of the word count, roughly one page long statement about you and about your motivation to medicine. Now different medical schools will use this in different ways. Some will look at it and use it to determine whether you get an interview. Um, some might use it at the interview to have it in front of them and go down your personal statement and pick points out of it as points for discussion. So it's important that the personal statement accurately reflects you and that it shows you uh, and your talents in the best light possible in the most accurate way so that you can show who you really are and hopefully show that you are suited to the role of a doctor. Now obviously there's lots of ways to doing a personal statement, there's no um, right or wrong way and today I'm just going to be telling you uh, my particular tips of what I think will help you write a good personal statement. So I think a good way to open your personal statement is to open uh, with a short paragraph of your motivation for medicine. This could be something about why a career as a doctor particularly uh, motivates you is what you want to do or it could be about one particular instance or circumstance that really for you made you certain that this was a career for you. I think a statement like that at the beginning can have a really strong impact and immediately show the reader why you want to be a doctor. Generally in the main body of a personal statement, people will talk about their experience and what they've done with their lives and how this makes them suited to the role of a doctor and how this shows that they have the qualities of a person who would be a good doctor. Now a lot of people might worry that um, they haven't had much specific medical experience in the last few years because of Covid and I think the universities are sympathetic towards this and not many of them have strict guidelines or rules on how many hours of work experience in a hospital you need. Now many of the skills of being a doctor are transferable, just to name a few off the top of my head. Teamwork, um, empathy, leadership, communication, those are some of the key, key uh, qualities you need to be a good doctor and work in hospital and GP environments. As these skills are so transferable, you can definitely show them through many of the other experiences that you've had other than actual hospital or GP work experience. If you do have hospital and GP work experience, that's obviously really, really good and will help you show that you really know what the role of a doctor can be. So with the main body of your personal statement, it's uh, a good idea to show that you have a really good insight into what the work of a doctor really entails on a day-to-day -day basis. It's your job to show the reader how you have these qualities and how you've demonstrated them through specific experience that you've had. And as I say, this doesn't need to be exclusively a medical experience, but you could show any of the qualities I've just mentioned through having um, a part-time or full-time job or an alternate career to medicine, which many of those applying to GEM may well have. I think it's worth noting to not discount how uh, these skills can be shown through extracurricular work as well, such as some team sports, obviously heavily uh, communication and teamwork oriented, as well as volunteering and other hobbies you've been passionate about throughout your life. The work of a doctor nowadays, although it's a bit of a buzzword, it does require you to be resilient. It is a really difficult training process and medical school is difficult at times. So I think it's important to show in your personal statement that you will have the ability to get through those slightly more stressful times. Maybe you could show that you uh, cope well with pressure through some of the experiences you've had and show an awareness that you are aware it might be difficult at medical school and then throughout the rest of your career, but that you have the tools to manage that when times like that come and get through it successfully. There are obviously many, many more qualities that are really important, but those are just a few and um, ways that you can show that you have those qualities through ways you might not have even thought of. So it's really up to the individual to think about what the role of a doctor is, how they think they would be good at it and to show how they would be good at it. So I think my main overall tip, although it sounds cliche, is to let your personality show through your personal statement. Being honest is obviously crucial and the reader will be able to see if you're kind of regurgitating common things from what you've read online. We're all individual and you really want the reader to see who you are and see why you would make a good doctor. I hope that that's helpful. Good luck in your personal statements and interviews and application process. Maybe I'll see you here in Swansea at some point.